Hey, what's going on? Agent Excel here, or as everyone, uh, as if you know me from the art community, one to one gigawatts here. Uh, just doing another drawing video. As you can see, um, if you haven't read the title, or if you haven't, if you're on another tab looking at naughty images, naughty, naughty you. Why are you looking at naughty images? Don't do that. That's not good. Come here. C come, come, listen to my. Not so sultry voice, like, if you know Plague of Gripes, not, not that sultry, like, boy, I want his voice, it's so smooth. It's, it's like a, it's like a dark, like, necropancer of some sort. But, anyway, uh, back to the image, um, yeah, it's just, I, I don't know, I just want to draw Goku, I have this old poster from, like, the Beckett 2000, like, Four edition. It's this collector's edition poster from the collector's edition magazine of Beckett, and they had like a whole Dragon Ball Z thing going on. I mean, the Dragon Ball Z was super popular back when I was a kid, and it still fucking is. Uh, it's so yeah. I have this poster over there of just Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and I was like, you know what? I want to. I want to draw Goku. Goku sounds like a good idea. And being that I haven't drawn Goku in, I don't know, like a few, like many, many years. Ever since I was like a child, almost. Ever since I hit high school, I stopped drawing Dragon Ball Z because uh, it wasn't what the cool kids were drawing. You know, it, it got to be cool. I'm not cool. I'm drawing Goku. But as you can see, I'm just going over with a uh, with this mapping pen. If you can't read that, yeah, it's a mapping pen. Uh, I had to change some settings around to get it to where I liked it. Pretty much, I had to uh, redo my entire computer and reinstall an OS, and this is the result of about two weeks of frustration of waiting for things to uh, come in and like reinstalling OS's on computers. Now, actually, back to... <laughs> back to the image. I keep getting sidetracked. Uh, when I was messing with that tail, I was trying to figure out a way to, like, get it to be concise, but I just decided, why not just draw it f myself anyway? In this hand, this hand's gonna give me some trouble. Uh, I tried to draw it like this. The original sketch turned out pretty nice, but I forgot that I needed to taper off the uh, hand to a different, like, angle so that it looked more natural and looked more like he was actually holding a fist. I'm, fists are very hard to draw. I've never been able to draw a good fist ever since I've ever started drawing. Also, that left eye of his looks real messed up, as, as, as you can probably tell. It looks real messed up. Uh, yeah, I'm going back and refixing this, uh, this, this stupid hand. Trying to do things, I I just then I just resketch it. Why not? Just fix it anyway. Just g give him a standard, just non grippy, just kind of loose hand. You know, like he's about to punch something. Uh, I'm much better drawing that kind of stuff, that kind of hands. Then again, Goku's hands are all beefy when he's in this kind of form. Forgot to add the tuft of fur on that hand. But uh, now I'm just. Uh, selecting all the areas around him and then inverting the selection to uh, and to uh, select the entire character and then I just, uh, just put in a bucket tool into the middle except I have a I have a control G command that I have that selected to now I always make sure I label my uh, my What's it, what are they called? Layers, that's what they're called. It, they're staring me right in the face. Uh, yeah, I always make sure to label my layers and, uh, go back and uh, just make sure that they're all nice and good and that I can understand where they are and what's what, because I often use upwards of, tw of 30 to 40 layers. Yeah, I use upwards of 30 or 40 layers, and it's it's interesting that I use that a lot of layers. And everyone asks me, well, how many layers do you use? I use a lot. That's all I need to know. I use a lot.
But yeah, I'm just going in, doing the uh, flat colors, making sure everything's nice and like, uh, like, uh, like, like, uh, opened up. And I am not going to notice that that left eye is all messed up for a long time. And I'm just going to color it. Why not? Because I can. Also, I al I've always, yep, there you go, now I fixed it. It looks a little bit better, but it's still not great. I've never liked the Super Saiyan 4 eyes. They've always were kind of unnecessarily too difficult to draw in just a kind of manga-esque way. Now, I'm I'm going over here and I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to set up the shading and all that. And I don't want to do too much with Goku's eyes, just just simple anime eyes. Just a, a tiny little, like, gradient there and I, I, st I stop every now and again mainly because when I was drawing this I had like laundry going and I was getting pulled away by by roommates to go and look at things like cute cat pictures they were very cute cat pictures so I'll, I'll let you know and I'm, I'm gonna go in here just do some stuff just draw me some the shading and some uh, some hair I've always liked Dragon Ball Z hair. It's always been very cool, cool to me. I just like that bulky, chunky, like, de weirdly detailed but chunky hair. It's always nice. That's a weird mouth, Goku. Goku, that's a weird mouth. But yeah, I'm... I think... Yeah, I'm coloring this with a uh, gray... Uh, a gray color on a multiply layer. I'm going to change that the shading color later, but right now, is, gray is just a good I have, I, I wasn't drawing for like, four, like, three weeks so I, I needed like an easy thing to color and shade uh, so I was using using gray, usually I use a uh, blue or a purple, sometimes red or pink, depending on the image if I wanted to more look, look a little more warm or cold going up here and then I think on this hand yeah I'm gonna blur the image or I'm gonna blur the uh, shading then I'm gonna erase a tiny bit and go back and blur and add a little bit more if I needed to and there you go I have have, have, have knuckle shading I'm gonna go shade his pecs because pecs always have a shadow gotta make gotta make sure to shade the pecs and I shaded these this arm very weirdly uh, in hindsight I I don't know why I shaded it like this but I, I am and I, I'm still using that same mapping pen from before in Mong Studio 5 I do everything in Mong Studio 5 now it's it's my go-to I used to do everything in Psy and then Psy just became a little bit too inconvenient for me which it happens but it just became too inconvenient for me and I wanted to uh, s switch over to a more uh, cell shaded look with like soft with soft accents on it, which is what I've always wanted to do. Uh, this was part brought on mainly because I, I played Killer is Dead, and then I was like, that that art style is pretty cool. Yep, there I go. I changed it to like a weird blue, and I'm going back on over the. I went over this uh, shine layer weirdly. I added the... Did I add the light? Yeah, I already had the light. That was... That was quick. Yeah, I'm going over and adding, like, the, uh... Side highlights and extra, like, shiny bits. That everything has... Everything's tiny... Like, a little bit shiny. And I'm using the Enclose and Fill tool in, uh... Manga, Manga Studio. I don't know what it is in Photoshop. I think it's the Lasso Fill. If I'm not mistaken. If that's what it's called. And it, it gives you like a rough, like 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 in like a fill. It's it's actually really nice. You can go back. You can just fill real quick. You know, just do a real quick motion. Get like a nice like blocky thing going on, and you can just go in and like blur an image, and then use like a soft like eraser to erase away and stuff. And the light. I have on there, uh, the light layer, it has just simple white light on, like, an overlay, and then I'm putting in gradients to give it a little bit more personality, make it look like there's more dynamic lighting, 
make it look a little bit more interesting. And the background, I'm just going to do a weird space thing with the moon, because, you know, Akira Toriyama likes the moon. And I was going to go in here with a bunch of, like, weird shading and do a bunch of stuff with the moon. And then, and then I decided, you know what, I'm just going to shade the moon with, like, a big shadow in the middle. Why not? It kind of looks like the sun... I, I don't know. It's like the sun is shining off the moon, or it's like some kind of other planet. Uh, maybe it's uh, Jupiter? Maybe Jupiter. I don't know. It could be Jupiter. It's not Jupiter. Uh, select the uh, bottom layer again, add some like extra lighting around the edges. I'm gonna do some light beams, but light beams aren't cool. Now, time to do the power. Ch time to do the thing that everyone loves, the super power-up, you know? Just just got to power up for two episodes. Simple lasso fill tool, and just got to fuck with the shading. Uh, you got to, well, fuck with the settings. And once I get the settings that I like, I think it's like an overlay. And I just uh, use the Gaussian blur and then add my little logo, and and the picture's done. Yeah. Yeah, picture's done. Just going to let it sit here for a bit. 